Hey guys, I'm Fireball from Fireball Tim Best of Show. And I'm Tommy Scalera, and this is Car Show Safari. Uh, today it's a diecast talk. We're talking about uh, Hot Wheels and diecast. We're at the Cadeo Valley Cars and Coffee here in Woodland Hills. Uh, favorite diecast brand? What's, what's your favorite brand? Well, you know, I mean, I grew up in the era of Hot Wheels. I, I mean, I remember having Corgis and, and Matchbox and uh, uh, growing up with them as a very young child, but um, I was a, a pretty much a pre teenager when uh, Hot Wheels came out, and to me, it was it was a monumental change in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Hot Wheels started in 1968, and uh, I, I may, maybe Matchbox are old. Matchbox, yeah. Corgis. I grew up with Corgis and Dinkies. I like those because they came with all these little parts and stuff. That yeah. You, could, you know, little cones and things. Um, everyone, I think every guy that has a car in his garage probably has diecast somewhere. Right? I, I mean, the, the cool thing about Corgis was that, uh, like, with the DB5, yeah. uh, the James Bond car. The, it did all the things that the DB5 did in the movies. The, the shield came up, the little guns came out. Yeah. They were very interactive. The only thing about Corgis, Dinkies, and Matchbox is that they weren't fast. <laughs> and right. Hot Wheels oh, yeah. changed all of yeah. that. Suddenly, yeah. uh, diecast cars were fast. Yeah, yeah. And the, the thing about Corgis also is that they always had parts and stuff like the, the James Bond car. The moment you launched that guy out, he was gone. <laughs> disappeared yeah. like it's very <laughs> rare to find one of those cars and actually find the the, the bad guy in the side seat you, you know? you've got to go you've got to go through the couch cushions yeah. for that one <laughs> yeah <laughs> now we also have a, a magazine out of the uk called diecast heroes hey guys good morning good morning happy, happy new year uh, happy new year so Diecast Heroes is a, a, a collector's journal that focuses on custom diecasts. Right. So uh, people that customize diecasts from all over the world, you can go to diecastheroes.com and you can get uh, a, a subscription to that. There's, I think, four issues a year or six issues a year. We also have a, a collection of diecasts at the Murphy Auto Museum yep. on display yep. there. So Excellent. You can come and visit Excellent. That. Uh, yeah. What's in your office? Um, well, I, I'm a kind of a purist and uh, I like the original Sweet 16. Yeah. And uh, but one of my favorites, if not my all-time favorite, uh, I have two. One is the uh, uh, Diora, yeah. okay. Yeah. But the um, the Shilawetti. <laughs> now the All reason, right. <laughs> tell them the story. Okay, so the Shilawetti is uh, it, there was a, a car called the Silhouette, it was part of the original yeah. sixteen. Uh, but at my uh, at my young age, I was not very good with um, words like silhouette. So verbally challenged. Yeah, yeah, I was challenged in that regard, and uh, so myself and all of my friends thought the name of the car was the Shilawetti. Yeah. So we referred not to even it. An as, there. <laughs> so we referred to it as the Shilawetti for years. For years. Yeah. And how did you find out how to say it right? Well, I think I was like 30. <laughs> someone said, by the way, you know, do you have one of those silhouettes? That's and I'm like, so what are you talking about? It's a really sad. Yeah, it's really really sad. Really it's the saddest bad. Hot Wheels story I think I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Fireball from Fireball Tim Best of Show. And I'm Tommy from CarShowSafari.com, where you can go to find all the car shows and motorsport events nationwide. And be sure to like me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all social, FireballTim.com. Thanks for watching.